Hi, my name is Alvin. Some of my friends back home have been asking me, what's it really like to live full time in an RV? So here's my little tour, cat's eye view of our home. As you can see, I spend most of my time in the driver's seat. But I also like to hop up on the dashboard where I have a fresh supply of catnip. Here's one of my other favorite spots, especially at night when the curtains are drawn. Very cool. While we're here, I'll just show you my litter box, because a lot of people wonder, where do you put that? Hmm. And over on this side is Diana's office. She's one of my staff. And this is an important place because this is where she sits and works on the Enchanted Isle website so that we can have money to buy cat food and cat litter. Now, she has a bad habit of thinking that I need fresh air. So if you look out the front door, you'll see this ridiculous little tent that I occasionally have to go out and sit in for a while. I don't really like it, but I tolerate it. Over here is the kitchen. This is where my staff prepares their meals. My meals are taken right here. And as we move around to the other side of the motorhome, you can see Jim's office. And this is where the Spirit on the Road ministry all happens right here. And that's important to me too because he needs to be happy for me to be happy. And this is the rest of our living room. Oh yeah, my scratch box. You get the idea so far that this place is pretty much set up for my happiness, comfort, and convenience. And you are right. Next point of interest is my mouse. This is where I get my exercise playing with him. Now this doesn't really concern me, but my staff for some reason finds it important to douse themselves with water on a daily basis. Personally I find that idea revolting, but Anyway, this is where they get to do that. The rain locker. And finally, this is my staff's bedroom. And in these winter months, I usually join them at night so they can help keep me warm. So I'd have to say, all in all, that I am enjoying the RV lifestyle. All my comforts have been taken into consideration. And everyone is waiting on me hand and foot. It really couldn't be better. Uh, the only problem for me is when we're actually driving this thing, I don't like it. So I usually go right under here, and that's where I spend my time when we're on the road. Well, folks, that's the wrap-up. Hope you enjoyed the little cat's eye tour of the motor home. See you later, everybody.